Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda and today I want to share with you the books that I would like to read in October 2022. Okay, so I am definitely in a mood. I'm in a mood to read some spooky, witchy, creepy books, which is not necessarily my forte, um, but I feel like every October I get in this mood where I want to, I want to read some creepy things. I am not a fan of Halloween. I am not a fan of scary movies. I, but for some reason, I kind I think I just give into the hype. I am definitely a victim of FOMO. And so I think that that maybe that might be it. Um, but I have a stack of books here today that you will definitely find a little bit of a theme through them. And so, yeah, I'm just going to share with you kind of what I have. All right, so the first book, let's start with middle grade. Um, I do have a couple of middle grade books that I would like to read this month, the first of which being The Midnight Children by Dan Gemeinhart. This is his new release. I pre-ordered it. Um, it is about a group of kids that show up to Slaughterville um, in the dead of the night with no adults. Um, and one of the kids in the town had, saw them come in and kind of gets to know them a little bit. And that's really all I know about it. It just, it sounds so fun. I love this cover so much. And uh, we shall see. We shall see. Um, but that's definitely one that I would love to read this upcoming month. All right. Next middle grade I pre-ordered as well is the next book in the Witches of Brooklyn series. This is S'more Magic. This is a graphic novel series written by Sophie Escapase. Um, and she, not Sophie, Effie, Effie is the main character in the first book, finds out she's a witch and lives with her two very eccentric, eccentric, whatever, aunts in Brooklyn. And in this um, book, she goes to camp, I believe. Um, and it just sounds like it's going to be a good time. That panda, I want to know what that panda has to do with anything. I'm here for it. That one's going to get read for sure. And then the next middle grade book I would like to read is Frozen Charlotte. This is by Alex Bell. Um, this is one that was gifted to me by Lindsay at Lindsay's Little Library for our, I think this was for our Christmas in July book exchange last year. Um, and that's really all I know. Uh, that's all I know. I know nothing. Um, it follows a girl... Sophie whose best friend has died under mysterious circumstances and she sets off to stay with her cousins on a remote Isle of Skye. It's been years since she saw her cousins um and then there are like I don't know it just looks creepy that's all I know and so I would like to read it it's a book exchange book I really wanted to read through the bulk of them this year and I have not been doing great with that so this is going to knock one of those off the list. Another one of those that is going to get knocked off the list in October is A Secret History of Witches. This was also gifted to me by Lindsay. This is by Louisa Morgan. And this, I don't know what this is about. It says a sweeping historical saga that traces five generations of fiercely powerful mothers and daughters, witches whose magical inheritance is both a dangerous threat and an extraordinary gift. There, that that's it that's the, the entire summary <laughs> so um yeah it has witches in the title it's historical it sounds amazing that one is another one from the christmas exchange cart that needs to get read okay next um another witches book that I would love to read, The Witches of Moonshine Manor, another pre-order that I have not read yet. This is Bianca Murray's new book. I have loved Bianca Murray's writing in her previous two books, um, Hum If You Don't Know the Words and If You Want to Make God Laugh. Those were both historical fiction set in South Africa. This is set in, I don't know where, um, but it's not historical. And the tagline of this is why were we taught to fear witches and not the men who burned them? And it is about five octogenarian witches. That's all I need to know. 80 year old witches. I, I really honestly have no idea what else this is about other than it's by an author that I love and it's about old ladies. <laughs> so I'm, 
I want it. This is a definite 100% this will get read. Um, another one that definitely 100% will get read that I am so excited about is The 13th Tale. Um, this is by Diane Setterfield, and this is one that I will be buddy reading with a large group of ladies um, during our BookTube Besties virtual reading retreat, which I've referenced a number of times. Um, we set up a buddy read for this that there's like eight or nine of us, I think, that are going to be reading this all together in October throughout the entire month. And... I'm very excited to see if I'm going to like this or not. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but this is about a um, reclusive author who basically has um, a young biographer come in to tell her her story to. And we'll see. I've heard pros and cons on that one. I've heard people love it. I've heard people hate it. We'll see where I end up. But that one will definitely be getting read because it's part of a buddy read. Um, and then two kind of creepy books that were suggested to me by other people. Um, a History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. This is about a cult. I love cult books. So this one I think is just going to be so good. I love that cover so much. I am excited to read this one. And yeah, I've heard it it's, will blow my mind. And I am very excited about that. And then the other one, um, when I was talking to Lindsay and Sarah, my friends, who are very versed in the way of thrillers, I'm like, I need a good thriller. Um, I need something that's going to scare me, but that isn't gory. I don't like gore, but I don't mind being like, like, I want something that I'm going to be on the edge of my seat. And Lindsay handed me The Chain by Adrian McKinty. We'll see. This, I believe, is about like a somebody's daughter or child gets kidnapped and then they get a note saying like, if you want your daughter back, you have to do something to somebody else's kid sort of thing. And it's like a whole chain and you can't break the chain. I don't know. I heard it's really, really messed up. I don't know if this one's going to be too much for me. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, those are the books. Those are the books. So, um, these two, I got, I just, I have, I have a lot. I have a lot I want to read in the month of October. And I have a feeling I'm going to have even more because I'm going to get into a mood reading mode. And, um, yeah, it's just, we'll see. I'm hoping I can get to all these though. There they are. All of them. I think some of them are upside down. It's okay. It's fine. Um, I will have them all linked down below so you can go check them out down below if you so care to. And yeah, I don't want them to fall though. So that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you're planning on reading in the month of October as well. And I hope that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.